Tiger Bug Motor Blog Gear Reviews and this is Bien and for today ang ating i-review ay ang Motorwolf Long Knee and Elbow Protective Gear so let's go on with the unboxing unpacking Ito itong Motorwolf Knee and Elbow Pads. I bought it at 948 pesos sa Lazada. It's made in China. Characteristics nitong Motorwolf na to na kaiba dun sa ibang knee pads is long and slim ang kanyang uh, knee pads at saka elbow pads. Okay, ang style number niya is MDL 1010 Long Protective Gear. It is one size. Isang size lang siya. So, walang small, medium, large. Uh, this is fit for medium medium size bodied Filipinos. Uh, dun sa medyo malalaki ang bias, uh, siguro hindi masyadong fit ito. Kasi slim nga siya. Oh. Slim ang built niya. Dun sa mga maliliit naman, I think it will fit. So, ang length niya ay 16 inches. Itong shin part, itong shin part is 9.5. Tapos itong knee part, that's uh, 6.5. Pero syempre, ibebend mo yan. Oh. So, ang built nito, ay dalawa yung hard shell that's PP shell that's PP polypropylene plastic hindi siya yung buo na merong tornilyo dito so dalawa ang kanyang shell tapos padding na yun nasa likod okay high strength PP shell daw sabi ng uh, Moto Wolf it's uh, drop resistant and impact resistant ang feel nitong plastic na to ay hindi siya malutong as you can see flexible siya And, and fairly medyo makapal ang plastic na to. So the PP plastic will protect you from injury and then the padding will absorb the impact. So at that price, 948 pesos, it comes with a 4 piece set, dalawang knee pads at saka dalawang elbow pads. And it's unisex. Okay, pwede sa babae, pwede sa lalaki. It's uh, drop wear resistant kasi double yung straps niya. Hindi siya basta-basta ang mahuhubo pag suit mo siya. So you can see here the Motowolf brand and itong padding is made out of Cordura nylon I think. Tapos meron siyang bias para hindi ba siya basta mapunit. And then the inner lining parang breathable siya eh. Breathable material. So ito breathable tong material na to. Then as you can see medyo makapal yung garter. Okay, this is the usual width ng garter. Okay, yung garter niya is about one and a half inches. Okay, maganda yung lines niya. Very sleek ang design. Tapos meron siyang vent dito sa PP plastic. And then another feature na nandito sa PP shell ay itong reflector. So merong uh, night reflectors added safety raw yan. And then ang nag attach dito sa padding at saka PP shell ay rivets. Ayan. As you can see, hanggang sa likod yan. So, dalawa yung padding dito sa knee part. Itong isa, ito yung nag-hold dun sa upper knee para hindi nga basta-basta nahuhubo. Okay? Hindi basta-basta nahuhubad siya. So, as you can see, yung stitches niya, yung stitching niya, ay dito, okay, so kung gusto nyo dagdagan nyo yan ng stitching diskumpyado kayo sa ganyan tahe, and then you can see dito sa ilalim merong strap as you can see dito sa ilalim merong strap, that is to hold itong upper padding so pag yung nagbebend yung knees mo, pag lumuluhod ka or kung nagra-ride ka meron siyang give Okay, as you can see, meron siyang give pag nagbe-bend. Oh, di ba? Di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Then, of course, Velcro. Pero kakaiba tong Velcro na to. Kasi yung ngipin-ngipin, hindi siya yung katulad na regular na Velcro. As you can see, ano, medyo maniliit itong ngipin na to. Very fine. Basically, dapat mas kapit na kapit itong Velcro na to. Okay, itong garter is merong slide. Plastic slide na to. Ayan, mas secure siya. Pasok mo siya dito. And then, ayan, kakabit mo na siya. So, mas secure ang hold niya. Kaya hindi basta-bastang maigit, hindi basta-bastang mabubuksan ang yung strap. 
So, ang purpose nitong design na to is for flexibility. Okay? Flexible siya. So, papakita ko dito sa video na to na kinuhanan ko kung gaano ka-flexible ang Moto Wolf knee and elbow pads. Alright? So, panoorin nyo. That's all for today here at Tiger Bug Motor Blog Motorcycle Gear Reviews. And again, this is Bian. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Tiger Bug Motor Blog. Do what you love and love what you do.